one of the things you need to think about when creating your Visual Basic program is that eventually you're going to have to save it and saving it is a little bit more involved, a little bit more complicated than just saving a normal file like a PowerPoint or a Word document. Uh, there's a few more things to think about so this video will just quickly go through those considerations. Um, we've got our Hello World application here and we're ready to save it. So um, the first things you need to think about are names for your Visual Basic project but also for the form. Now our little form that pops up here you can have more than one of those within a Visual Basic project. You can also um, copy forms from one project to another, from one piece of software to another. So it's important to give them meaningful names. Now at the moment it's called Form 1. Now Form 1 is fine but if we were going to stick to um, industry standard coding conventions we might uh, call it something like this. We call it main because it's the main form within the project and we prefix it with the initials FRM which are short for form. That's how I name my forms. FRM and then the name of the form. And then when we click elsewhere or hit enter we should see it's renamed up here in the Project Explorer. Now our project is just called Project 1 which isn't very meaningful so again I'm going to click there and go down to the properties window and I'm going to give that a meaningful name as well. Okay, I'm not going to prefix it with anything for a project. I'm just going to call it that. And you can see again in the Project Explorer it changes up there. Now we've given names to both our form and the whole project, but we're still yet to save them as files. So that's what we should do next. So um, when you click on File, you've got options to save both projects and forms, and both things will need to be saved properly. And this is why there are um, more considerations than you first might think to save him. So let's try it, save project and the first thing it's going to ask us to do is actually to save the form. So if I choose a directory um, and it's going to save it as frm which main which is the name of the form and then dot frm and the dot frm is the extension uh, for the form file type. So that's fine, so click on save but we're also going to get asked to save the project which saves as a VP VBP file. So if I click on save for that, then um, that should be all my saving done. I should be able to close my Visual Basic project. And all my saving is done. And then I can go and have a look in the directory in which I saved it to. Now it has saved three files here. Okay, we only saved two, which is the Visual Basic uh, project um, and the form, but it's also saved the VBW form, which is the same name as the project. Now that's nothing to worry about, it will do that, but the main one that we would use again would be only the VBP. And if we double clicked on that, it would load up everything we need within that project again. So the VBP is the one to um, worry about and make sure that you know where that is ready for opening again in the future. But always keep these three files in the same directory. And that's how to save and reopen a Visual Basic project.